Hey guys, I'm gonna be eating jamjolim and I just wanted to kind of like talk about my favorite K-dramas because why not, yeah? And I usually mix sparkling water with other ciders. Mm, ain't that pretty? This is like my first mukbang so don't judge. Cheese. Okay, let me just take a photo. Yeah. For me, my top 10 K dramas is Mr. Sunshine because it just talks about Korea's history with Japan and I love the bromance between the three uh, main characters Lee byung Yu Yoo Yeon Seok and Pyeong Yoo Han Let me try the egg Mmm! So good! Oh my god Mmm! Oh yeah, I was talking about my K-dramas My second favorite K-drama is Jumong and this was made in 2006, so obviously I was really young, I was only 7 years old then. But I still remember it because it was so good, like, it's a choreo historical drama. I mean, it's like a saguk drama. And oh my god, it went up to 84 episodes, I think. And I rewatched the whole thing, like, 5 times at least. And basically, like, it's about a guy that has kind of like magical powers and he can shoot arrows without even looking like he just blindfolds himself and then he can shoot arrows and Song ji is in it so yeah it's really good mm. Mm. this meat is so good before it was so tough to eat but because it got marinated in the soy sauce it's pretty soft now so yeah mm. my third saguk drama that I really recommend to watch is Empress Ki and it has Ha Ji Won, Ji Chang Wook, Baek Jin Hee and Ju Jin Mo and such a good drama I think it went up to like 48 episodes or something or even more I can't exactly remember but I remember I couldn't finish the drama because it was so sad towards the end and I was crying because the love story between Ha Ji Won and Ji Chang Wook is so sad and oh my god, like I kept crying and crying. I don't want to spoil it, that's why I'm not like telling the story. Moving on from Sakuk Dramas, I think most people would agree that Boys of Flowers is pretty good. I fell in love with Imino when I first watched Boys of Flowers. I mean, even Boys of Flowers, I watched quite a few times, maybe like once every year. So. It came out in 2009, so I'll watch it again in 2010, and then 2011, 12, 13. Like, I kept watching, I was like, I can't get over it. I want a Chebol boy to save my poor ass. Mm. Okay, this one's a bit recent. My next one is Itaewon Class. It has Park so Jun, Kim Dami, and Kon Nara, and Kim dong -hee. And, oh my god, such a dramatic drama. I would never expect that in real life, but 
it's a drama, so YOLO. I think everyone knows about what happens in Itaewon class because there's so many memes about it. But yeah, if you haven't watched it, watch it because it has Park so and his acting is so good. It's like... He does that and it's so funny. Mm. Delicious. Okay, next one. Basic Korean girl, basic Korea boo recommendation. Crash Landing in You. Such a good drama. I only watched it once because, I don't know, I don't have time to binge watch dramas that much anymore. So, but I think I would re-watch this if I had the time. It's about a rich girl that gets trapped in North Korea and then she has to try and escape and then she um, falls in love with the soldier and then they escape and then there's so much drama so you have to watch it if you still haven't watched it yet. Oh, this one's a tough one. Don't like it. I only really like soft meat. The chewy meats are so like, ain't my thing. Okay, what's next on the list? Mm. Also, this year, no jokes, it's 2021 now. Towards the end of last year, this webtoon called Sweet Home got released into a K-drama. And the CGI, so good. It's hard to explain the story properly, but basically it's about Korea becoming kind of like a dystopian world and everyone turns into monsters if they have some sort of bad desires and then they become monsters. I reckon I'll re-watch Sweet Home. I mean, I'm rereading the webtoon, so I'll probably end up re-watching the Netflix K-drama again. Oh yeah. And another one is called Strangers from Hell and oh my gosh, it was released in 2019 It only feels like yesterday that it was 2019 but it's already 2021 Time flies Anyway, I love Strangers from Hell It was such a fresh drama like it's horror, action and the psychopath is so hot It's played by Lee dong -uk. Oh wait, did I just spoil it? I, I think I just spoiled it because he doesn't get exposed as a psychopath uh, until like later on in the episodes but oops my bad I'm gonna try the sauce Mmm, so good! Oh my god mm. My mom's a good cook I mean I help but Second last drama that I recommend I don't think most people know this one because it's a comedy like it's like those family comedy dramas and it's called Potato Star everyone knows who Yeo Jin Gu is Yeo Jin Gu is in it and Yi Sun Jae Harabaji and So Ye Ji is also in it from It's Okay Not To Be Okay and Ko Kyung Pyo and yeah like all the A-list actors are in this drama it's such a funny drama and I always loved, especially um, So Ye Ji and Ko Kyung Pyo's brother-sister relationship. It's so funny because they're always fighting all the time and they do really stupid stuff to each other and that's why I think it's funny. I'm gonna try with the sauce again. It's too good. With the rice, you see that? Rice, egg, soy sauce. Mm. It's so good, it's so salty but so good. Salty is my middle name. Please don't hate in the comments. Oh yeah, last recommendation. It's called I'm sorry. It's called Unstoppable High Kick One. So there's three seasons. So there's one, two, three. And I only like the first one because the second and third one I don't know, not as good. It felt like it was just trying to copy the original but it couldn't quite hit the innovativeness of the first one, I guess. And it has the actor Chong yul -woo in it and he's the guy that played in The King, the zombie drama. And there's Kim Bong, Lee Sun Jae again and Park Min Young. And this is another family comedy drama and it just takes us around their daily lives and what they do. Like, they always play pranks on each other. And one of my favorite ones was how the Yi Sun Jae Harabaji. 
I don't know, like explaining it, it's not that funny, but it was really funny when I watched it. That's my top 10. Oh, I'm speaking with my mouth full. So rude of me, I'm sorry. So, that was my top 10 recommendations for watching K-dramas when you want to binge. And if you liked the video, please like it. And then, yeah, I'll see you whenever. Bye. Oh, you're still here?